everywhere in post few hours ago as the protesting is becoming more serious than Tinubu ever thought you know Tinubu have been doing everything possible to stop the protest and stop the protesters so that the august one protest will not hold and you know we only have few days to go and a lot of people are becoming out and these are big names that Tinubu never expected now Rufa Osene are finally shake table he dashed it black and blue to Bola Ame Tinubu and his daughter he even sent Tinubu's daughter to Tinubu insultively he said whether they like it or not he's going to join the protest and he have read himself for the protesting and all you will hear everything in this very video so i would like guys to stay connected to the end of this video if you can share this video just do it to share share to the different social media platforms let it go viral and if you can share it just like it as a watching like it give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us just stay connected i'll come back again welcome you back to lachibong wash tv i don't have badness for you today What is happening in the Christian door? Join now to make sense with Slash Bob. Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. We're coming back to the Lodge Bob Watch TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the very first time, ensure you click the rest of the section button appearing in your video screen and do well to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in few hours' time, YouTube will easily let you know. You know, first one, let's do it sharp in this very video. No need of wasting your data at all. Now, what this video is all about is regarding what Rufa Hussaini said in a rice news few hours ago. And you know, this video shaked a lot of places. It shaked a light table and Rufa Hussaini spoke in such a way that Tinubu never expected. You know, the daughter of Tinubu came out few days ago. The daughter of Tinubu that they gave the office of the first daughter to. That same daughter of Tinubu that they make the Yaloja of Lagos. You know, it's no more news that that lady they have been marshalling lines here and there since when Tinubu entered into power and all oh, you know the power have been toxicating all these people now the daughter of Tinubu came out few days ago and she spoke about the upcoming protests that Nigerians were proposing from August 1 to August 10 you know it's no more you know that Tinubu have been doing everything possible to stop the protest he never want the protest to hold even when he was the grandfather of protest as far as Nigeria is concerned Tinubu have mobilized the Nigerian youth back then in the regime of good Lord Jonathan and Oh, he mobilized Nigerian youth to protest against Jonathan. That was when they increased free price from around 65 Naira to 85 Naira. They protested and they did all sort of things. Now, it have turned to the tone of Tinubu now. He never want protests to happen. The people are suffering, but he never want the people to talk. He want them to be suffering and smiling. That's why he came out a few days ago and made it not to the general public that this is just a baby step of suffering. That we need to endure the baby step of suffering even when he is not feeling the pain on a single inch. Now, Tinubu want Nigerian to be suffering and smiling. That's why the daughter of Tinubu came out and she was trying everything possible to bully and threaten protesters. He was telling the people that they should not allow their children to come out to protest. He even said that protest can never hold in Lagos. She even made it not to the general public that before anybody can protest, they need to wait for three years for his father to use three years in office before they can protest against his father. Now, Rufaya finally sent his father a message through the daughter you will see the way Rufai shaked her life table he insulted them he dashed it to Tinubu through the daughter of Tinubu and Rufai vowed within himself that if it's not on that protest ground we should not wait to happen now I would like us to stay connected to the end of this video if you can share the video just do it to share click the share button share to different social media platforms let it go viral and if you can share it as you're watching it just like it like it give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us you know a lot of Nigerians are hungry and they dying of hunger every day I've seen a situation where Nigerians Nigerians are dying of hunger. Hunger is now on rampage in the country. They are eating grass in the northern area of Nigeria. A lot of people can afford to eat two square meals in their houses. Even a square meal is not possible because there is high in price of food in market. There is high in price of fuel and all. And at the same time, the fuel is even scarce. The same fuel that Good Lord removes subsidy on in his own regime as a 65 Naira to 85 Naira. And Tinubu protested against him. Now, in the regime of Tinubu, they now sending fuel around 1,000. On three hundred naira in some few stations now, and at the same time, the fuel is scarce, and they do not want Nigerians to protest even when this suffering is being bestowed on them. That's what is happening. And the daughter of Tinubu came out to express her own opinion. Yes, it's her own opinion, but he came out to express her opinion to threaten Nigerian youth. He said if they should come out, they will smell hell that they should not bother to come out to protest against her father and all. That was what she said. Now Rufai gave it to them black and blue. And Rufai I made not to the general public that if he did not protest, they should know what caused it. Now, let us take a to the 
end of the video to hear what Rufai said yourself. You will hear it from the horseman. Just stay connected and coming back again. <laughs> so the trainers in the door told that I don't know be legal, so she can't. Do you remember that? Uh, oh yeah, we had that story. So a couple of things. She has a right to say anything she wants. That's her opinion. But also I would like to tell her to please take a message to her father for us. Dear Yaloja, Ibn Pawa. People are hungry. You saw the report the other day. 100 tubas of yam, 1 million naira. Mm -hmm. How much was it 12 years ago? And you see, let's stop tying this NSAS process because the perpetrators of the violence were people that came out of cars by the states when Femi Falano was saying it. And please, the, vi the protest was successful and peaceful mm -hmm. until the violence perpetrators started. So, your lodger, Garitin Wong, tell your father that. That people are very hungry. That spaghetti is so difficult to get. Ah, Lede Shumo, we can't eat yam again. We can't eat rice again. Beans is over 100k. A bag. Uh, yeah, 50k, Jimmy. Food is so expensive. There's no 20 naira meat again. Things are difficult for the people. What have you been able to do for the people? What has your father been able to do? Speaking of Ilya Lodgers, I know one Ilya Lodger that I love so much. I will mention her name today. Go ahead. Alimo to Peleura. That great Yoloja that stood by her bad Macaulay when the people of Nigeria and Lagos were suffering. Mm. I invoke Alimotu Peleura spirit. This was the woman that reduced the price of food when things were difficult in the market in Lagos. All right. All right. Well, uh, Ayo, before I come to you, we are talking about these palliatives and measures to curtail this... Um, Protest. I mean, that's really uh, the main point because they say it's end bad, bad governance. governance. In the meantime, the media advisor to the president, Ajuri Ngalali, during a live television interview on Sunday, declared that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu was not opposed to peaceful protests in the country, while assuring Nigerians that Tinubu is committed to putting the country on a sound economic footing, despite the challenges he inherited from the past administration. Ngalali reeled out the administration's achievements to include single-digit interest rate credit facilities for over 1 million micro, small, and medium-scale enterprises, road reconstruction across the country, as well as seaport reconstruction, the National Student Loan Program, Consumer Credit Program, and the increase in national minimum wage, stressing that these initiatives will make a positive impact on the livelihood of citizens. I mean, Ngilali acknowledged that some of these efforts might not, you know, be immediately visible and assured the administration that, you know, uh, they are working tirelessly to create a prosperous uh, future for Nigerians. But I mean, these measures, are they enough? A lot of Nigerians have questioned those measures. That's the big question, Oji. Are these measures enough? The truth is that now we are seeing uh, the spokespeople, spokesperson of the president coming out to highlight some of the achievements or the measures that the president has made in order to meet the needs of the people, especially this cry about hunger and poverty. But it doesn't seem like we, we have seen the beneficiaries. Yes, I agree with him. Some of these measures are more medium term to long term before we see you know, the impact of these measures. But the immediate is what people are crying about. The fact that people cannot buy food in the market because the prices are too high. Therefore, nullifying the increase in the national minimum wage because the 70,000 hour, you can't take it to the market and buy anything substantial. That is the challenge that people are saying. It's not just about the increase in national minimum wage. It is that the purchasing power of the people is, is, is good enough to have 70,000 hour to take home and be able to look at yourself and your family. Now, going back to uh, the Yaloja, I missed other people who have come out to say or oh, to advocate for don't protest the truth is that there are many people who are speaking about um, going against peace or saying that people shouldn't go out don't send your children out to protest saying that it is it's by um, politicians it's politically motivated but then it also clearly shows that they are not in touch with the people 
did she have a chance to talk to these market women that she was speaking to mm. and find out how they are really faring? The fact that they, the people who are selling the food cannot even eat the food they are selling because it is too expensive. So I wish that this you know, advocacy mm -hmm. came out when people were saying that they were hungry in whispers. Mm -hmm. Now that it's getting louder and it's becoming a thing that people are now saying we want to go out and just express ourselves peacefully. They're now coming out to, you know, ap appeal to them and say, oh, no, do that. No, let us see results. I've been saying, show working. We don't just want platitudes and, you know, placating. We want action to mm. be taken. And finally, I'll just say that she said something that I think, I need, and a number of people have said it, that, three, that we should wait for three more years yes. to criticize. No, that's not true. You don't. She says um, the federal government should be allowed to spend three years in office before being criticized. Not at all. Yeah. How many months did they give the Jonathan administration before coming out to protest against like um, 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 against um, um, subsidy removal? Absolutely. Please let us not guard the people yeah. in the guise of trying to advise people. Mm -hmm. People have a right to protest from day one. If Absolutely. They want to, not Absolutely. wait for four years. Absolutely. That's the truth. I asked a question earlier, Doctor Abati. Are those measures enough? In the meantime, the this morning. Richard Reeves, the Chancellor of the United Kingdom, is going to come out and say, look, the Conservatives, they left a black hole of 20 uh, billion pounds. And to solve the problem, we're going to cut public spending and we're going to introduce taxes. So they're going to cut fat. In Kenya, President Ruto has done a similar thing. Many Nigerians are also saying, look, there's too much fat in government. Absolutely. Government should, uh, you know, cut the fat, cut the leakages, cut the wastages. That's it. So that information may have been fake. It may have been deep fake or whatever fake they call it. But, you know, it's just to remind everyone. Yes. Despite the mischief of it, that these are the expectations of Nigerians. Number two, the people who have rebugging palliatives, they have started again. What nonsense. They did it the other time. And it caused problems. One lady used uh, palliatives for her birthday as gifts. We took she really she has been rewarded with a big appointment. Yes. Let them not good. think that if you steal <laughs> palliatives meant for Nigerian people, you will eventually be rewarded by government. The security agencies have been given this information. They should go after them. Yes. The people who are stealing our rice. It is our rice. They should, they should make sure that they are sanctioned. Absolutely. For we know Dr. Al, but he does not play with his jollof rice. It is our rice. Number three, <laughs> very quickly, the Yaloja. Well, the Yaloja, I mean, you know, some people will say it's a family affair. Yes. What do you expect her to see? But there are different perspectives. There are people who are supporting the protest. There are people who are opposing the protest. And our concern is very legitimate. Mm -hmm. You know, and the times are different. I don't agree with the comparison with uh, Pelewura. Yes, well. Pelewura, 1865. It's almost the same time. Don't interrupt me. Yes. 1865 to 1951, she was a fish trader, you know, in Lagos. And this was during the nationalist uh, yes. uh, uh, season. And she led the protest against taxation. She led the protest later of market women. Yeah, yeah. And she helped with others to form the Lagos Women's Market Association in 1920. That National uh, Lagos Women's uh, Association, Market Women's Association, when she died in 1951, Abiba Tumogaji, the grandmother of this same lady, took over. And she was in charge. Now she's the one the granddaughter, the president's uh, daughter that is in charge. In other words, I'm saying different times call for different interventions. Whatever you may say mm. about what she has said, look, it's, it's within her rights. Yes. Yeah. She's a citizen. So whether she's the president's daughter or not, it's totally immaterial. Right. It's right. a point of view. And that will not probably stop those right. who say the protest must go on because it is a legitimate right mm -hmm. to protest. Yeah, it's please. a constitutional right. But I also wanted to make a comment and even a plea to uh, the presidential spokespeople as well. I mean, that broadcast was fake, but they should look into it and stop going on, on different, uh, um, <laughs> different platforms and making useless excuses. But also, Bayonanuga has come 
under fire as well because he's also debunking other people's statement. Yes, all on the weekend he released a, a letter that was written by Owando saying uh, Owando boss rumors about Ras Hasnia Oil Terminal Limited. Owando, Nigeria's leading indigenous oil firm, has debunked rumors that its directors are the owners of an oil blending plant in Malta. I mean, Rufai, what business does Bayo Nonuga have to debunk this sort of rumor? Is he working for Owando or is he working for the president? That's the question a lot of people are asking. I mean, we have seen this Raz story that has been going I mean, on after I mean, that I mean, Gote, I mean, it's, it's just, came it's, just, up. it's just crystal clear yes. that when people do not have anything to do, yes. they look for everything to do. That's just it. So... I do not see the need for a presidential spokesperson to get himself. He's not the spokesperson for Wando. Wando has written their message out Absolutely. and nobody's indicting his government. So that's what he should face. All right. Shall we go? I think we should continue on the protest. Well, in the meantime, the minister of the federal capital territory, Yesam Wike, has been mobilizing Abuja youth and other stakeholders against joining the planned nationwide protest while inspecting a road project in the Abuja Municipal Area Council last week. Wike told residents not to join armed robbers to protest. Let's take a look. Okay, Wike has remained adamant. You saw that he said ah, no protest will happen in Abuja. What right does he have? Yeah. Really? <laughs> and now they are now armed robbers. I mean, I mean, these people have said that they are coming out for a peaceful protest. Even the president has backed a peaceful protest. Instead of him to be advocating for a peaceful protest as within our constitutional rights, he's saying that they are armed robbers. That's what these people are saying no, on <laughs> social media. Like, you come, come for a meeting. It's okay, this is the position. Yes. Then you'll come out and then go. And, and then go. go. <laughs> when he might I mean, send you to say that there's no protest. That Abuja, it was that that manage the situation, manage the situation. Not say something that is against the law because Abuja residents can protest peaceful and protest. Abuja FCT is not excluded from um, peaceful protest in the constitution very important to know that and actually as minister of FCT he has he has the responsibility to ensure the li safety of lives and property mm. if people do want to exercise their yes. rights to peaceful protest I think it's important and we keep talking about this um, information management mm -hmm. we shouldn't be behaving like emperors who yes. just come out and say I, I, I buy you from you cannot ban people I from mean, I, you I, cannot tell people in fact the letter understand you should go and address uh, the letter that's the, from the take, take it yeah, back, take movement. back movement i saw that that give us stadium we want to use at least it's yes. an enclosed space we're not destroying anything we just want to march around carry our little placards express our grievances and go home that's, that's the point point. Yes, that yesterday, yesterday on the morning show again like i told you we had inibehe Efio, who is a, um, a lawyer yeah. he's actually accused vk of sponsoring the protest by blocking protesters from using that eagle square. I mean, this is the conversation. Well, in the meantime, Peter will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election over the weekend. Expressed support for the planned nationwide protest. Obi spoke when he visited Alex Oti, the governor of Abia, at his country home. Let's take a look. An issue of protest within the Nigerian constitution protest in the land. All I plead for those who are protesting is to do so within the law and in a civil manner that allows us as a nation to show that we live within the law. You know, everybody knows the things are difficult. They always say, when they talk about sponsors of the pro uh, protest, I say the sponsors are very simple. It's hunger, it's hopelessness among the youths. So we all have to listen to what Nigerians are going through. And I thank our government for doing so. It is critical and important. Again, we have to listen to what the people are saying, like Peter Obia said. But trust uh, Payon Onuga to release a statement after this comment. He wrote, now that Peter Obi has come out to endorse the planned protest by his supporters, he should do what President Tinubu and former President Buhari did in the past, by coming out openly to lead the protesters. 
That is what leadership is about. Not playing the master puppeteer behind the scene. You should be in the forefront of the protest and help in curbing their possible excesses. Rafael laughing. So, in another development, Kenneth Okonkwo, who has been the spokesperson for the Labour Party presidential campaign, in a letter posted on X, criticized Peter Obi on his approach to party matters and accused him of failing to resolve the internal crisis rocking the party. His letter reads in part, Every member of the Labour Party is confused today as to the future of the Labour Party because of lack of leadership from Peter Obi over the party. And unfortunately, when they look up to me to tell them about Peter Obi's standpoint, I sincerely have nothing to tell them because I don't know myself. I cannot continue to speak on behalf of a leader that I don't know his stance on issues of great importance. I simply don't know how to manipulate facts. I mean, you have seen this letter, uh, Rufai, on social media. He talked about him being shocked that Peter Obi did not openly, you know, endorse the efforts of labor as well. But obviously, Peter Obi has reacted. While you respond, I'll pull up Peter Obi's uh, tweet. He also His said response. Uh, that Peter Obi does not have the capacity to be mm -hmm. a leader. So the question I'd like to ask him is, did he not know before he decided to follow Peter Obi and sell Peter Obi to Nigerians? Mm -hmm. The question, like I always ask all of them, is what changed? That's a big question. So the same person that he said was competent, all of a sudden is no longer competent. So what changed? Mm. Maybe there's a problem with his own judgment. Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can hear what Rufai said in that very video. You know, Arise News is meant to be a kind of platform and also with Chinese the television where we have a good number of journalists that will always come out to call a speed a speed. I give kudos to Rufai Osini in that Arise TV show to OG, to Ruben Abati, and to Ayo. You know, these guys are wonderful guys in the morning show. They will always come out playing to say the truth, the very peace. Now, Tinubu Data came out to threaten protesters, which is not supposed to be. Which position is Tinumbu daughter handling as far as Nigeria is concerned. For Tinumbu to give her daughter the kind of power that she's using, Tinumbu gave her the office of the first daughter, which is never in the constitution. And mind you, the implication of that office is that they are using your money and my money taxpayers money to fuel the expenses of that office and that's what is happening and a lot of nigerians are actually agitating and saying that there is no constitution where there is office of the first lady office of the first son and office of the first daughter and they are using our money to be refurbishing and renovating these offices they are using our money to be buying suv cars for the offices and oh that's what is happening in nigeria now nigerians are saying enough is enough of all this nepotism enough is enough for all these shenanigans that is happening in the regime of Bola I meant now they send that they want to stage a protest amidst the rampage of hunger in the society amidst the fuel scarcity and high in price of commodity like goods and markets amidst everything they said Tinubu should cut the cost of governance they said Tinubu should do this and do that till now Tinubu did not do anything but he's doing everything possible to stop the protest from coming forward because he's scared that the protest will actually bring out the kind of results that Kenya protest actually brought out and the lean emphasis on the answers they said the protest is going to be like that of the answers because they believe that in course of the answers they incite a lot of violence a lot of violence was incited during the toll gate issue and all and mind you this government have been laying emphasis on the NSAS protest that they use the NSAS to scatter a lot of things in nigeria to destroy public properties to destroy people business and all to burn down a lot of government facilities and all they said they don't want the same protest to happen like that now the people that want to make this protest they are saying that they're coming for a peaceful protest and mind you the same NSAS that they're laying emphasis to the same NSAS that Tinobu daughter was laying emphasis to and some other government officials the same NSAS they Lane versus two. If you recall, NSAS was a peaceful protest back then. NSAS was peaceful. There's no destruction of property. Nothing happened in course of that NSAS until the same government in power then 
kill Nigerian youth at Togate. They pile a lot of youth at Togate. That was when the violence started. That was when Nigerian youth began to incite violence here and there. It was the shooting at the Togate that incited and caused the chaos that actually happened in course of the NSAS thing. And that was what happened. They never mentioned of it that it was the shooting that caused the violence that took place after. If they want to say, they will say that NSAS is having violence and this in protest will reproduce what NSAS actually produced and all. That was what they saying. Even the daughter of Tenembu come out, they will never come out to call a spade a spade they will never come out to say the truth the way it is they will sugarcoat it and they will filter the truth and bring out their own favorable aspect of it that's what they're doing now nigerians are saying that they are coming for a peaceful protest and they're coming to agitate their feeling regarding the suffering that is being bestowed upon them in nigeria the suffering for the hardship the suffering for insecurity the suffering for the high price community of goods and all the suffering for everything that is not going in nigeria that's what they want to agitate for and it will be a peaceful protest that is what a lot of nigerians are saying and they want nigerian security operative because it is the duty and responsibility of the security operative to protect protesters so that hoodlum will not hijack the protest and all now they want the security operative that if they like they should shoot a peaceful protesters that this protest will turn to something else they said the best thing to do is to maintain peace that the security operative of nigeria must not try to pull a trigger on any peaceful protester in nigeria he did not pull a trigger on any peaceful protester no form of violence will take place at all that's what a lot of nigerians are saying and i'll keep saying it in every of my videos you should show violence just go straight agitate your feeling agitate your suffering to the government tell the government what you want the government to do and all and go back to house peaceably and wait for the response of the government whether it's going to be positive or negative we don't know but just make a peaceful protest and all and that's what a lot of nigerians are saying there's no call for violence we are not here to fight war but the way nigerian government is actually handling this protest issue they're handling it as if they're scared they're handling it as if they're seeing it as if nigerians are coming to them with war and all but Nigerians are only coming to agitate their suffering because the people have suffered enough. For Tinubu daughter to come out and be made known to the general public that they need to wait in three years for his father to be in office before they can agitate their feeling and before they can express their feeling and all in form of protest and all. Before Tinubu daughter can be saying that actually that these people are not seeing the suffering of the people. Is it until hunger finished the people before that three years? Is it until the population of Nigeria reduced from 200 and something million to around 100 million before they will know that hunger is actually on rampage in the country? Now you want hunger to finish people for three years. Mind you, this Tinubu daughter is actually enjoying and a lot of lost written is what she been enjoying and all they never say to the suffering of the people now the people are coming but they are scared drop a opinion in the comment section and leave the regarding what Rufai said so i'm going to get on that one for you and sure follow me on my social media handles on facebook at lipo watch tv and lipo entertainment and on instagram at lipo guess what guys see you in my next video bye for now I see the hopes for my body, I say make a young hey. Religious gossip and today for body yeah, for yeah. Pastor where the lion yeah. top be pastor yeah. For yeah. like you pop watch TV yeah. Yeah. Pastor where the back where yeah. where yeah. Politics are where they do yeah. pass yeah. 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 Why they why you waiting for church? Yeah. 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 All I like you pop watch TV